and this meat is delicious. You were right, after all. The children are much better off here. I was even thinking we might take them to the beach house for a few days. A little fresh air and a change of scenery might do us all good. Do you know what I've been craving? Mashed potato. Why don't you make some tomorrow? You have beautiful hands. I never noticed before. Everyone's been telling me lately what beautiful hands you have, and now I can see for myself, nice and clean. But so what if they're beautiful, they're lifeless? Sometimes, Stephen, you're just an incompetent man who goes on and on saying stupid things like, let's do a scan, let's do an ultrasound, let's wear brown socks, let's make mashed potatoes, let's go to the beach house. Excuse me? Our two children are dying in the other room, but yes, I can make you mashed potatoes tomorrow. Please don't talk to me that way. If you don't like it, why don't you go and live with Martin's mother? I'll bet she'll talk to you better. You wanted the kids to come home when they came home. What else do you want me to do? Something to put an end to all of this. That's what I want. Can you do that? You do realize, Stephen, we're in this situation because of you. So what do you suggest? Tell me. Oh, wait, I know. I've got it. There is a way we can put a stop to all this. All we need to do is find the tooth of a baby crocodile, the blood of a pigeon, and the pubes of a virgin. And then we just have to burn them all before sunset. Let me see. Do we have any spare teeth lying around? Teeth? Pubes? Nope, nothing here. Let me see. We need hair, pubes, teeth. Nothing in this box either. Where are they? I'm sure they were here earlier. I put them here myself. Who's been moving things around? It's unbelievable. I don't suppose you've got any pubes I can have by any chance. Oh, I forgot. You don't have any left. We don't have any of the things we need.